So let's start the show and see how Amir fares. Can you stop talking so we can start the show? Hey, everybody. Can we get started? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Friday. It's Friday! Yeah, it's, uh, today's episode's brought to you by you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we really appreciate this. You guys sticking with us throughout this whole year. It's been a uh, year of ups and downs and many different faces, but a year of Christmas miracles. Anyway, so we love you and everything, and thanks for yeah, tuning in. Yeah, but enough in about and, uh, you. Yeah. We got news to talk about, so. Yeah, think about somebody else for a change. Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, we've got another group in the UK that is calling for loot boxes to be banned for children, and they're using some really strong language when it comes to the effect that loot boxes are having on kids, our children. Yeah, this latest group surveyed a number of kids and young adults in the UK, and their report had some strong opinions about the loot boxes, to say the least. Ooh. Mm, Brian, what am I hitting at here? Oh, they say that loot boxes are, quote, polluting the lives of young people. <laughs> Video games, am I right? Even worse, the younger the gamer is, the worse the effects are. Oh, you go to war and die for your country? You shouldn't be able to drink a beer, as, as smoke a cigarette, have. And, and open a loot box. Boom. USA. Perfect. Yeah, anyway, uh, one teen even told them that he stole his mom's credit card to buy FIFA packs. That, uh, that's In his defense, most FIFA packs are bought with your mom's stolen credit card. His mom. That definitely deserves a grounding, uh, maybe Papa Dunce cap on that young lad and sit his ass in the corner. Is that still a thing? Uh, yeah, I think so. Bip, yeah. Dip, dip. Depends what's in the UK, yeah, most schools still have dunce caps. <laughs> they don't have capital punishment in the UK, they just slap a dunce cap Corporal. on you for homicide. You've been a very naughty murderer. So yeah, the UK government has said they're concerned about the issue of gambling in video games, and they're going to look into it. Oh, good. Yeah, we'll uh, get to that later, but first, just kidding, we don't have an ad today. We're broke as hell, just like these little gambling children. Yeah, I mean, we could plug our premium Snapchats. Uh, anyways, let's look at the report first. While other groups in the UK have raised alarms about loot boxes, this one is the most damning. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Brian, do tell. So this latest study comes from a non-profit charity called the Royal Society for Public Health. Damn, everything sounds way more impressive over in the year. Uh, anyway, it's described as an independent body dedicated to the promotion and protection of public health and well-being. They work with organizations on education and training, and they also advise the government on policies. And according to a study that they conducted. <laughs> some gas. And according to a study that they conducted, they say that loot boxes in gaming are, quote, polluting the lives of young people and should be classified as gambling. They specifically called out loot boxes, as well as the practice of gambling with, quote, skins. Which, condoms, to them, right? No, it's- Rubbers, right? No, skins. Rubbers. No, it's a skin, mate. In it. Son, I gambled with skins with your mom and I lost. Oh! Because you're here. Uh, the group's chief executive, Shirley Kramer, said, Young people have told us that gambling and gambling-like activity are slowly but surely polluting hobbies and pastimes that have traditionally been beneficial to their well-being. What? They're saying video games used to be good and beneficial, but now they're bad. Yeah, that's kind of a 180. Yeah, uh, Brian, in your- in your 360, like an Xbox. Oh, oh my God. God. Brian, in your best British brogue, can you tell us what else she said? She added that, The rise of loot boxes and skin betting have seen young people interested introduced to the same mechanisms that underpin gambling through an industry that operates unchecked and unregulated on the back alleys of the internet, which young people can access from their bedrooms. That sounds awesome. <laughs> the back alleys of the internet? Also, no. video games were never beneficial to your well-being. No. I played a shitload no. of them as a kid and made terrible grades because of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but look like at this. us now. What are we doing to put bread on the table, huh, Brian? Yeah, well, whenever someone uses the phrase back alleys, it's never gonna be a positive thing. Mm. Nothing good happens in a back alley. The study is based on a series of focus groups that researchers did with 79 young people across England, Scotland, and Wales. They divided them into two groups, 11 to 16 year olds, and a second for those between 17 and 24 years old. Yeah, they also surveyed more than 1,000 young people between the ages of 11 and 24 across the three countries as well. The research found that two out of five young gamers brought loot boxes that more than half believed that video games could induce them to gamble. So some shared horror stories about the effects loot boxes had on them. One 14 year old from Wales said, when I was 13, I spent all my birthday money on packs on FIFA and then starting to use my mom's card to buy more when that had gone. I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't stop. I'd spend all my time thinking about when I could next get a pack. It's so easy to get caught up in. I was definitely addicted. <laughs> 
Is he talking about loot boxes or off. Other people surveyed said that they hate the impact that loot boxes have had on video games. The study found that among the older age groups, there was a feeling that a pastime that they enjoyed and associated with many benefits to their well-being had been quietly polluted by mechanisms they associated with gambling. Uh, so older players, aka gamers in their 20s, mm. also showed a sense of concern towards younger players of games who they felt could be less well equipped to manage the risks associated with loot boxes. One gamer in his early 20s wrote, gambling and gaming is ridiculous. Are we seriously talking about gamers in their 20s as if they're <laughs> senior citizens here? Jesus Christ. You are, do you, have you written your will yet? I, apparently I should. That guy we were just talking about, he said, gambling and gaming is ridiculous. It's jarring and depressing to see a form of media you used to love be held back from its true potential by people who don't even understand it. Yeah, Brian, uh, we got word from a teenager as well, what? right? A hip young teenager did a Healy and added <laughs> countless mobile and video games incorporate gambling available to young people who are oblivious to the addictive and reckless behavior it encourages. Some developers have defended loot boxes saying that in some cases you can earn the same rewards through normal gameplay, but lots of people surveyed did not buy that rationale. Oh, an 18 year old from England said, they say that you can win loot boxes through normal gameplay, but the grind to do that is impossible. If it really was easy to get loot boxes that way, they'd make no money and they know full well what they're doing. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Breaking news, teen discovers that businesses like money. Uh, another player in his early 20s said that loot boxes, quote, ingrain a betting culture into young players, adding, I believe this would make them to be more likely to be affected with a gambling addiction in the future. And this is what I believe caused myself to spend excessive amounts on online betting. Mm. A teenager singled out Fortnite saying that the flashy skins create a sort of peer pressure and the target demographics is way younger. They don't know much about gambling and not having to have the coolest skin ever every time. Yeah, the study also interviewed kids between 11 and 14 and it found that loot boxes have an even worse impact oh. on that age group. My sons, Brian, what's happening to the 11 through 14 year olds? So yeah, it gets kind of scary. Twice as many 11 to 14 year olds said they bought loot boxes compared to 22 to 24 year olds and nearly twice as many 11 to 14 year olds had also taken part in skin betting. Oh Ooh. God, skin betting? Uh, the younger the person was, the more likely they were to think that gambling isn't a big deal. The survey said that of those who had bought loot boxes or taken part in skin betting, it was those in the 11 through 14 age group who had most commonly said that they did so in order to have fun. That is some f***ed up children of the corn bull God. It's the same thing that happened when I was a kid with Pokemon cards. So what did the study conclude, Brian? So they urged the government to overhaul gambling regulations in the UK, suggesting new laws to classify loot boxes and skin betting as legally recognized forms of gambling. And they also want developers to quote, develop solutions to ensure gamble free games for children and young people under 18. They also said developers and console makers need to develop technology to quote, identify problematic spending on loot boxes. Boxes. I'm sure they'll get right on that. Uh, I mean, it seems like the current government in the UK might be ready to crack down. Yeah, the Conservative Party in the UK won big in a recent election, and they've promised to examine loot boxes. A government spokesperson told The Guardian that problem gambling can devastate lives, which is why we are absolutely committed to protecting young people from gambling-related harm. We have committed to a review of the Gambling Act and take concerns about loot boxes and video games very seriously. This comes after a UK commissioner in in October released another scathing report. It said loot boxes can lead to kids spending hundreds of pounds. And gaining hundreds of pounds. Oh, hey, oh, oh there it is. <laughs> it also recommended that government should regulate loot boxes as gambling. Mm. And if the UK does ban loot boxes for kids, it would be the biggest country so far to do so. But never say never, right, Brian? Yeah, over the last few years, we've talked about this a lot. We've seen a number of governments around the world either ban loot boxes like Belgium and the Netherlands, or say they're looking into the practice like here in the good old UK. US of a. Yeah, the significance of this latest report is that it provides more of foundation for loot box opponents. It strengthens the case that these mechanics are similar, if not identical, to gambling and that they're hurting kids. They're similar, they're just not as cool because you're not actually playing for money. You're just playing for skin. Ooh, I love to get I love to get I love to get a whole bag full of a box full of skin. There's no high greater. Yeah, yeah. well, if all of this becomes the narrative that we're talking about here, it's gonna be very hard for loot boxes to survive. I mean, at least in their current form. We'll see what happens, but uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, oh yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, that's a whole so, thing. So the next two weeks, 
we basically, we want to take some time off. Be with Sue our us. families. Sue uh, us. You know, so we're going to have a lot of backup content. We've got dailies that'll be going out on weekends, features that'll be going out during the week. Everything's going to be all top. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, the we, team's been working really hard. Like yeah. Patrick and, and Connor and Amir and Evan and Autumn, all of us have been working really hard. And Just, Caden and Brian. Yeah, we've all been working really hard to make sure that we can uh, supply you with enough content to let us take some time, yeah. some well-deserved time off, uh, and that you guys don't get deprived of the content. So it's going to be a weird kind of topsy-turvy couple, yeah, couple but, weeks, but uh, it's cool. We've got some cool stuff planned for you. All right. So bro, yeah, bro. Have, a, have a great holiday. Uh, keep watching. We'll still have daily videos for you. Bye, all right. Bye. Thank you. Or if you don't celebrate the holidays and don't believe in jack that's cool too. Hey, welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Tuesday. Oh, it's uh, Transactional Tuesday? <laughs> Skewers. We got another sign that the UK is about to crack down hard on the practice of loot boxes, which could have ramifications for the rest of Europe. A commissioner there just released a pretty scathing report after interviewing dozens of children, weird, who play games like FIFA and Fortnite. So yeah, it's the second time in about a month that UK 